pet. And today we are doing a cruise Q&A. First, if you haven't gone and watched our t last two cruise vlogs, make sure you go do that and then come back for this video. This video is going to be for anybody who wants to go on a cruise but has questions or is thinking about going on a cruise, going but kind of scared or... or don't know what to expect. So make sure you watch this entire video and we will give you everything that you need to know as a first, first time cruiser. We're not gonna get, we're not gonna talk too much. We're just gonna get into the questions. So I had asked some of y'all on my Instagram to just ask me some questions about a cruise. And then I also just got like some basically frequently asked questions that people- Most people wanna know. Yeah, most people wanna know about the cruise. So we're gonna get right into it with the first question being, do you need a passport? No, <laughs> no, 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 you do not need a passport. So many people have always like tried to argue with me about needing a passport. Guys, I'm 21 years old, I've never had a passport, and I've been on over five cruises. Right. So simple answer, you do not need passport if you're not from this right. country or born somewhere else you will need your yes passport, if you are a so. u.s citizen you do not need a right. passport and as long as the cruise is leaving from a u.s port and coming back to a u.s port no passport is needed still highly suggest getting but a passport. get your passport anyway right, right? i'm getting mine really soon right. on to the second question question number two like carnival versus royal caribbean he honestly has never been on a Royal Caribbean ship. Our first cruise that we just went on was his first cruise ever. I have been on one Royal Caribbean cruise and the rest I have all been Carnival. Basically, I could tell you that Carnival's customer service beats Royal Caribbean's any day. So that's my answer. I choose Carnival. Um, the reason being is, yeah, the customer service. Royal Caribbean ships may be a little bit nicer, may have like just more decoration and like look nicer but to me um cu customer service it beats nicer ships because it's like you're going to the same islands you're doing the same things but i'd rather just have nice workers that actually care about you rather than rude ones. wait 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 so let me ask a question for them so if you factor out customer service which one's better like what would you like more if both the cu customer services was the same i would say the same Oh, it would be like an evening cruise. Right, because I feel like Carnival is known as like the fun cruise. Right. Um, Carnival, I feel like, also has more, hmm, how do I say, like things to do on yeah, the ship. Yeah, more events, yeah. Like Royal Caribbean may have more visuals, but it's like, they're not as fun as Carnival. Oh, that's a good way to um describe it. Like, visuals. More visuals yeah. and then more like. Yep. So, Royal Caribbean, they have like this Royal Promenade on the ships, which is super, super nice. But like I said, yeah. For me, Carnival, but everybody has their own opinion. Y'all better so. listen to her experience cruiser, <laughs> gold member. But yeah. But for question number three is, is the food good? That's a very broad answer. Is the food good? Because it could be yes or no, but I'll have you answer first. Short answer, answer I'm going to go with yeah. They got everything <laughs> you would want to eat off of a ship on a ship. So if you want to eat quick things, pizza, burgers, they got a whole bunch of that. But Ice if you cream. like your fine dining, mashed potatoes, steak, filet, seafood, they got all of that too. So it's all up to you how you want to eat. So some people choose to not eat at the main dining rooms, which I'm not really sure why. Because honestly, the main dining room has the best food. If you guys watch our vlogs, you know we were eating steak, filet, lobster every single night. So highly suggest going to the main dining rooms and not going to the buffet for dinner. And don't I get them, like yeah, the main dining room and the buffet. Buffet. Don't get that confused. I feel like a lot of people. Right. So basically, think it's for the same dinner, thing. you have an option which is included in like it's not extra money. It's included in your cruise fare. Basically, a main whole dining room. It's like a restaurant, and they change the menu every single night. But they also have like the buffet, which is just casual. Like they have the buffet breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But yeah, don't go to the buffet for dinner. Come on. Go on a cruise, go to the main dining room. So if you're going to listen Promise to anything that we say better. today, go to that main dining room. Go. Okay, question number four is another really asked question. And do you feel the boat moving? So, so as a first time cruiser, I'm going to say no. Throughout the entire cruise, I didn't feel the boat move at all. But if you decide you want to stare out the window for however long, you might feel something. I, I don't know if it's a mind thing or... Honestly, yeah. You forget that you're even on a boat. For my answer, no. I also never... Well... 
For my answer, I would also say no and have to agree with him. You do not really feel the boat moving. Um, I feel like maybe you will if you're like super sensitive to like motion, but... Or you focused um, on that. Right. Or... But as two people who don't really get seasick or motion sickness or car sick, yeah. You don't really feel the boat move. Um, maybe a little bit like here and there. If you're really, really like really paying attention to it. You might like feel a little sway or two, but it's nothing that you would get sick over. It's absolutely nothing like a little boat or a yacht, anything like that. You honestly have no idea how big cruise ships are until you're on one. So if anybody tells you that you feel the boat moving, scratch that, they line. And question number five, what is included in the price that you pay? Okay, so um, I'm gonna speak on question. Carnival. When you book your cruise and you pay that price, Basically, it includes all your breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the buffets. It includes the burger spots, the taco spots, the ice cream, the pizza. Um, it includes most, like I would say 85% of activities on board. It includes, um, what's it, iced tea, lemonade, water. Basically, I feel like to me it's easier to say what it doesn't include, but it includes yeah, everything it includes except Wi-Fi and alcohol. Yeah, and so like obviously they have like little shops on the cruise, like right. jewelry stores. Obviously, that's not included. That's pretty common. Souvenirs, sense. you already know right. that's a given. You're going to be paying for that in the gift shops. Right. And then the only other thing that I can really think that you have to spend money for is like um, they kind of have like game shows, say like deal or no deal. If you want to play that to win money, obviously you have to put money deal into no it. Deal. But that's like pretty much common sense. But. Most of the food, except the specialty restaurants, is all included, and that is the biggest thing that like is good for when you go on cruises, is that the food is all included. Question number six. Okay. Is the Wi-Fi worth getting or worth buying? It depends on... Who you are. Yeah, so if you're a content creator, then it's definitely worth it. Buy go ahead it. and get that Wi-Fi because you're going to need to update your supporters right. and Just things keep, like that. But if you're, you're social media going, that's what we did. We ended up deciding to buy it, I believe, the second day in. But if you're not a content creator, you don't need your phone at all. You can Live honestly, in the moment. Yeah. If you're not a content creator or an influencer, do not buy it. Live in the Just moment. Just go airplane and mode, you know, you can, take you pictures, can videos. You your IG stories for afterwards. Right. But for us, um, as you guys know, we do YouTube, we do TikTok, we're all about social media, so we wanted to keep you guys updated, and yeah, that's why we got it. Okay, next question, how do you pick a room when you're booking? How do you know if you want an interior, balcony, suite, spa, all that? I would say it's really your preference. Um, I would say if you're any type of like motion sickness, seasickness, probably not get an ocean view, because then you're just going to have to look at it. Like or a lower room. deck. They should stay away from lower decks too, huh? Yeah, I feel like if you're seasick, you should probably stay in the middle. As a person who's been in a suite, a balcony, and interior, and spa room, honestly, the interior rooms are just fine. You're not really in the room a lot anyways. I mean, we weren't at least. Um, we had a baby and we still weren't in the room a lot. Really only in the room to shower, eat. Get ready. And get ready and that's it maybe there's some boring people who want to be in the room 24 7 on a cruise i don't know why you would do that but if that's you maybe get a balcony if you're liking this video so far and if we helped you out already make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments question number eight is the drinking package worth it i feel like this is another question that is kind of your preference and basically how much of a drinker you are they also have like a drinking package which means alcohol but they also have like i feel like i think it's called the cheers bubbles program which is like um basically a drinking package but for soda so i feel like i didn't even know about that really but, but go ahead yeah oh wow but for the alcohol if you're gonna exceed over 15, 15 drinks in a day get it then get the alcohol <laughs> it's package. Gonna save you money. but if you're not going to drink over 15 drinks you could just pay per drink like we did right. but like she said we're not drinkers like that so yeah. We're not drinkers, so we decided to not get the drinking package. But I know y'all gonna be drinking from sun up to sundown, so right. y'all so might. So if want you that. are, get that yeah, drinking yeah. package and save yourself a little bit of money. Couple <laughs> bucks. So question number nine: What happens if you miss the ship? You're done. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, the ship is not going to wait for you for long. Um, so you need to have your times right. Biggest tip, and this is for 
when you're about to go on the cruise for embarkation day i suggest if you're flying somewhere to t like to leave your ship to leave the cruise out of fly in the day before um that's a huge tip because you cannot control huge flight tip. delays flight cancellations you cannot control any of that Stuff so happens. definitely um yeah i would suggest flying in the day before getting a hotel to make sure you're right in that spot just in case anything happens you're still right there so yeah we actually did, did decide to fly in the day before so we stayed in a miami hotel that night and then just ubered there but it was a good thing we did that because our flight ended up Not getting delayed. delayed by like two and a half hours and think about it if we booked the day of the cruise we would have missed our cruise Facts. because of a flight and that would have been very very bad when you're on the islands the cruise tells you about five to ten times what time you need to be back on board be back on board before that time it's not um, that hard yeah it's not that hard just listen they say be back on 4 30 don't start going to the ship at 4 30 because unless yeah. you want to fly back from another country right unless you want to be that, stuck there without ahead. your luggage and miss your whole cruise up to you <laughs> <laughs> but highly don't suggest that so question number 10, what is there to do on a cruise? This what is there not so to do on a cruise? Right. <laughs> okay, comedy shows, productions, water, water slides, water parks, Pools, shows. game shows, um, there's like Contest. 12 different bars, contests, basketball, three point contests, mini knockout golf. challenges, mini golf, like just like little events that are happening throughout the day. Right. There's trivia, there's sports bars, there's... There's a casino. Casino, um, there's little shops if you like to shop. There's bingo, there's family feud, there's deal or no deal, there's... Um, so pretty much everything. on a cruise ship, there is not one time on, this, on a cruise ship where everybody's going to be doing one thing. It's never going to be like that. Everyone's going to be here, 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 all over the ship, so... Yeah. That's how you so know, that's I would say home. before going on a cruise, see what ship you're going on. Um, make sure it's a ship that you actually want to go on because sometimes they do give like cheaper prices to the older ships. So just be aware when you're booking. Right. But if you're going on a newer ship, some even have a roller coasters, which is crazy. A roller coaster at sea is wild. So yeah, just look. Um, Carnival website will always show like what is on board, what's there to do. Um, Biggest thing is you check what ship you're going on to because yeah. if I have if I didn't you. book a cruise with her I wouldn't have known like what ship, what ship going I was going on right. and that could have just ruined mm -hmm. the experience. So yeah, I like going on new ships because I've been on a bunch, so it's like I don't want to go on an older ship that I've already been on. So right. yeah, the last one that we just went on was built in 2019, so it was pretty new still. Okay, so on to question number 11. What is there to do on, this kind of like ties in with the question before, but if you guys don't know, there is sea days sometimes, um, depending on your itinerary. And someone had asked like, what is there to do on a sea day? So basically, if you're going on Carnival, Carnival has a Carnival Hub app, which it shows like your entire itinerary, every single thing going on. You can highlight things and it can give you notifications on when it's about to start and all of that. So definitely like keep, Keep your eyes on that, look at it. We looked at it almost every night just to see what we wanted to do the next day, plan ahead, which It'll is good. It'll even give you a little reminder when it's about to Start. happen, so. Right. So um, for me, I think sea days are cool. I feel like, yeah, you just have to see what you want to do. There's always going to be something to do. For me, I also do like booking itineraries where it's as little sea days as possible, because obviously if you're going on a cruise, you want to maximize the amount of island time that you have. So definitely, like I said in the last question, be aware of what you're booking before you actually go through and book it. Right. Um, Carnival even has like travel agents that can help you and talk you through everything. So there's no need to like book it on your own if you truly don't know what you're doing. Just right. call a Just Carnival expert. Just ask questions, right. do your research. Or yeah, watch videos like this. Yeah, I would say I didn't really get bored on the sea days. Um, I feel like, yeah. If you're not a boring person, you shouldn't get bored. Oh uh, yeah, there's plenty <laughs> to do on the ship, so you shouldn't be bored. Right. Especially if you go going with people. Like, right, if you're going with people, and it's like, we had a baby and we still weren't bored, so. Right. What should I pack? Um, so I feel like this is another kind of broad question because cruises do go all over the world, so obviously different weather plays a part. 
But I feel like assuming they're going to a warm place, right? Like, majority of the cruises I feel like do go to warm places and islands like the Caribbean where we went. But as far as like on the ship, definitely pack some like nice things for guys. I would say like button ups, nice outfits, and for girls like dresses and stuff to wear to dinner. Because like we said earlier, the main dining room is kind of like not fancy vibes but definitely it's like at least semi-formal yeah like and don't you want to look nice when you go out to dinner like i feel like how you should look at the main dining room is this if you were going out to like a nice restaurant where you live bring like a comfy outfit um just in case you're like chilling just wanna maybe in the morning not be in a bathing suit before the day just go to breakfast in a comfy outfit like i just wish i brought like something like a t-shirt and biker shorts which i forgot which big mistake what is a shore excursion so yeah everybody may not know what a shore excursion is especially if it is your first cruise so basically a shore excursion is any type of like activity that you do on an island um so you, there's like plenty of ways to book excursions you could book it right through the cruise line or you could book it when you get there or you can book it through a third party like before i would say yeah obviously it's going to probably be the most expensive if you do book it with the cruise but also you know it is the safest yeah, so definitely. um yeah that's kind of up to you how you want to play that if you want to wait or whatever but um just remember you are in a different country can't trust everybody you know Keep Some people wearing. might even be hard to understand, so yeah. if that's going to be a problem for you, then you might want to just book just it through Carnival. Just book ahead so you know um, what you got yourself into. It was funny, like on our cruise, I had like an older couple ask me where the ship was when it was time to go. And I was like, um, just ask somebody. And they said, we can't understand right. anybody here while we was in the Bahamas. So it was just like, right. that might happen to y'all. I don't know. Y'all got experience with people with accents. So if you don't, book it through Carnival. Through, yeah. And try to just keep aware of your surroundings, um, kind of like a sense of where you are, where you came from. Especially if you're going like completely away from the cruise ship, definitely just be aware. Uh, I feel like that goes for everything, especially That goes women. for everywhere, but yeah, women. Yeah, especially if you'd say a girl's trip, just like definitely be aware of if you're getting into a taxi or you know just be safe if you guys have any other questions else. that we didn't answer comment down below and we'll, we will answer your questions in the comments we always look through our comments so make sure to comment don't feel weird or anything never we do love not it. feel weird we love um yeah but give this video you a big thumbs up we hope you guys liked it again if you haven't watched our cruise vlogs make sure you go check those out they are honestly one of my favorite vlogs that we've ever put out but um, yeah, we kind of just wanted Want to, to wrap up the cruise content with this video, a little review and Q&A. Because um, so we know some of you guys are going to be going on cruises in the future. So and we definitely are going we're on We're definitely going to book another cruise. So um, stay tuned for that. Make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a video. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.